Hello everyone and welcome to the Beauty Breakdown. My name is Morgan and this is Skincare Shorts where I cover a skincare topic in three minutes or less. So let's go ahead and get started. So the topic of today's skincare short is going to be the skin barrier. What it is, what its function is, how to tell if it's damaged, and what to do about it. So first, let's go over what the skin barrier is. Now the technical term is the stratum corneum, and you'll also hear it referred to as both the lipid barrier, skin barrier, moisture barrier. There's a lot of terms that are thrown around. Now the skin barrier is the outermost layer of the epidermis, which is the top layer of the skin, and it acts as the protective layer. It keeps harmful external factors out while locking moisture in. And it is made up of dead and non-living skin cells, which are called corneocytes, and also fats, which are called lipids. Now this is kind of why you'll hear the whole brick wall analogy when it comes to describing the skin barrier, is because essentially the bricks act as those dead skin cells, while the lipids act as that intercellular matrix that holds everything together, aka the cement. So to sum everything up and simplify it to the max, keeps the good stuff in and the bad stuff out. Now how do you know if your skin barrier is damaged? Now there are several symptoms that usually indicate damage and they range from dryness, itchiness, flakiness, redness, irritation, and if you notice burning or stinging when you apply products, that's also not normal. Another way you can tell is your skin always feels dry or dehydrated even right after moisturizing or a couple hours after. And I also wanna note that all skin types can have a damaged barrier. So even if you have oily skin, your skin might actually be overproducing oil because your barrier is damaged. So what can cause damage of the skin barrier? Now there are several factors which can cause damage, so I will list them out because it is quite the extensive list, trust me. But the most common issues that usually cause damage is over exfoliation, using harsh skincare, and over washing the skin, which also kind of ties into pH and the acid mantle, but I don't want to overcomplicate things, so we'll get into that in another skincare short. Okay, so you figured out your barrier is damaged. What do you do now? First and foremost, I'd recommend stopping all exfoliation and assess your routine. So mainly you want to focus on gentle cleansing and also moisturizing the skin. Some ingredients to look out for include ceramides, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, and also squalene, but there are a lot of ingredients that would be helpful for helping recover your barrier. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this skincare short. And before I close this video out, I get a lot of questions on these videos asking why I don't recommend products, and that's simply because I'm trying to deliver the skincare topics in a digestible, small, compact type of format, and if I were to throw in product recommendations, it would get way too lengthy and kind of just introducing topics in general. But for this video, if you guys do wanna see product recommendations, I have a sister post to this video, which is on my website. I'll link that down below where I have product recommendations and reviews as to why I recommend them. As always, guys, I hope you're happy and healthy, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video.